Patra. Patra, what is this name? Please sit down. And your question is a great question. Can you show me God? This is his question. The question of questions. There are many questions come, but this is the highest question that one could ask. Can you show me God? But I remember a story. Same same quest, same request. A girl, eight year old, came to me, asked me, show me God. I told her, you go to school, she was about to leave for school, tomorrow I show you. Then tomorrow came and then she said, show me God. You promised yesterday, I said, now your driver is waiting to take you to the school. You come back and later tomorrow I will show you. And they said, every day you say tomorrow, and this morning I'm not going to school. <laughs> you have to show me. <laughs> so little child, <clears throat> I said, okay, you come in the room, I will show you God. But when you see God, you have to give something to Him. What you have got to give, and then out of her school bag, she says, I take chocolate every day. My mama gives chocolate to eat in the interval when the school is closed. And I will give chocolate. I said, then you give the chocolate to God and He will come. Then he said, where is God first to give the chocolate? I said, you give the chocolate then only God will come. <laughs> Not that the God must come before you give the chocolate is in your hand. You extend the hand and give it to God and He will take. She was a child, no doubt in her, and she extended. Then there was a lot of noise in the room. Her mother was in the kitchen. She came out, calling baby, what happened? He says, she said to her, Mom, I gave him ch chocolate to God and he took whole of it and not gave even half of it to me. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> even then I slept on his face, slept on his face and then mother said, you are lying, I don't see God. <clears throat> she says, Mama, can't you see God? See how he is loving me and hugging me. I, I really don't understand why you can't see him. I am seeing, Papa is seeing, why can't you see? Then her mother never agreed that her child is speaking. Then she said, I will make a drawing because I cannot speak what is happening and what he is doing. Then he made a very beautiful drawing of God which I have never seen in any picture so far. And till then, she always used to go out walking with me, meditating with me. Even she will tie a rope around my leg and keep in her hand when she slept. So what I want to tell you is, it is innocence. God is everywhere. Those who are not innocent cannot see Him. You can see God everywhere. He is everywhere. Why we can't see Him? The one who has a doubt cannot see Him. And if you don't have a doubt that God is everywhere, why can't you see Him? 
So the veil between you and God is only doubt that God is not seen. God cannot be seen. God will be seen after long penance in the caves of the Himalayas. And those people have doubts in their mind. As this child could see, only instantly giving a piece of chocolate, you see. And now you extend your hand, when you go back to your room, give him the chocolate, not having any doubt, then tomorrow, day after tomorrow, you tell me, I gave the chocolate and you didn't eat. You have to do it and then you come in satsang on Monday. And if you are innocent, have no doubt, you will see what happened. And now, whom do you see? <laughs> now itself, why tomorrow? What do you see? I don't see anything. Hmm? I told you, you are not to doubt. Again, you say, I don't see. This is a doubt. Remove this doubt. Again tell me, what do you see without the doubt? This don't, don't is doubt itself. Again tell me, don't keep doubt in your mind and tell me, what do you see? I see God. <laughs> <laughs> So simple, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>